Hello everyone, my name is Nimrod Kramer. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Daily.dev. And today I'm very excited to give you this walkthrough into the new quietly launched career mode on Daily.dev. Earlier this year, we had many discussions with people in our community trying to understand what can we help you do next? How can we help you grow professionally even better than what we've done so far? So you've already known Daily Dev, right? We've been deeply focused on helping you stay up to date and helping you find like-minded engineers, mostly through squads. And now we feel that the time has arrived to give you the last piece of the puzzle, which is a way for you to leverage everything you're doing on Daily Dev to actually land your next job. And when we went on to design the new career mode at Daily Dev, the most important thing for us was to design a developer first hiring experience. This is something that currently doesn't exist on any other platform. So if you've ever tried to look for a job, you've probably know that if you're actively looking, you go on, you apply on a bunch of job boards and you hope that someone will return you an email or a message. Oftentimes you're probably being ghosted or there's some AI that's reviewing your CV and so on and so forth. This is like a really bad experience. And if you're currently being employed somewhere and you're happy with your job, you've probably experienced all those recruiter DMs on your LinkedIn that just feel odd. You know, those are like people who oftentimes don't understand the, the actual stack that you're using, or you just feel that the messages they're sending are either AI generated or templated. And if you've ever felt one of these things, you're not alone. You know, the current hiring process and the current recruitment tools in this world are not designed to respect your time. They are not designed to respect your intelligence. What they are designed is for volume. But the problem with these tools is that they don't think about the individual on the very end and developers deserve a better experience, which is why we're trying to do this thing. So what's currently happening behind the scenes is that we're gradually onboarding new employers on the platform to try and hire on daily dev. But just onboarding employers is not enough. We wanted to create an experience that put trust and transparency as the core pillar of the entire process so that you, as someone who might be actively looking or just open for new opportunities, would feel that you're being respected. You would feel that this is a process made for you by people like you. So when we designed the career mode at Daily Dev, we've set three core principles in place. First thing, we don't want you to see any recruiter spam on the platform. So you won't get here any cold DMs from recruiters coming out of the blue, trying to lure you into taking a call. The second thing is that the entire process is designed both for people who are actively looking, but also for people who are currently employed somewhere, happy with their job, but still want to see uh, opportunities when they arrive. So the whole process is designed as private by default. And when we say private, we mean that we don't expose you in front of recruiters until you explicitly say yes and give us the permission to do so. And the third thing is that we don't want to become another job board where you can just see a bunch of random jobs that you don't know if there's an actual recruiter on the other side reading your CV. We wanted to design an experience that leverages everything you've done on daily dev to deliver you high quality job matches that would actually take you to the next step of your career. Now, in order for that to happen, we also need your cooperation. And it's totally up to you if you opt in and, and how you engage with career mode. But what I'm about to show you next is how you can increase your likelihood to get matched with a job opportunity on daily dev and how you can increase the accuracy of these matches. So while we're speaking here, we're gradually onboarding new employers onto the platform. And when an employer goes on the platform, they would give us all the context about the jobs they currently want to hire. And then what we're going to be doing next is to look into the daily dev network and trying to find people like you who might be relevant and interested in that job opportunity. So we don't give the recruiters the flexibility to choose themselves. We're going to do it and we're going to try to do the matching as the trusted broker for the entire process. Okay, so once you get matched with an opportunity, what you're going to be able to do next is to privately review the job opportunity brief that looks like that. In that brief, we try to give you all the information that we have about that particular job. So we're going to show you the job title. We're going to show you the tech stack, the TLDR, a bunch of high level uh, data points about the job. We're also going to try and explain you why we think you're going to like this. So that will give you some sort of a rationale of why this uh, job got matched with you. We're going to give you some information about the company and a bunch of sections where you can deep dive if you're really interested. And I think that one of the most unique parts of that is that when we show you a job, it means that there is an actual recruiter and hiring manager on the other side of that page. And we're going to show you the exact people here. All you need to do is to review this job opportunity and decide if you're interested or not interested. If you're interested, we're going to give your information to the recruiter for them to follow up with you probably via email. And if they think that it's a good match, this is where the magic happens. They would ask for an intro and we will send a warm introduction between you and the recruiter on the other side to take the hiring process forward, which means that we're going to try to do everything we possibly can in order to respect your time. So you don't waste a minute on anything that's unnecessary and definitely so that you don't ever get ghosted when applying for a new job. Okay, so before we go on to understand how you can actually increase uh, the likelihood to get matched with a job opportunity, let's go through some uh, frequently asked questions. So first of all, how do we decide which jobs to show? And, and that is obvious, like at the core, we try to assess your skills and interests based on your engagement on the platform. But that isn't 100% accurate, which is why I'm going to show you next how you can increase your likelihood to get high quality matches. Second question, will recruiters contact me directly? The answer is no. 
No recruiter will ever reach you on daily dev unless you explicitly say yes to a very specific job. Okay, next question. What do I need to provide in order to get started with this process? This is what I'm going to be showing you next, but we basically revamped the entire profile to allow you to provide a lot of information about yourself and your preferences so that our system knows how to match you with the right opportunity on the other side. Another important and probably popular question, do you need to pay for that service? The answer is no. This is going to be a free forever experience for developers on the platform because we genuinely believe that the developer community deserves a developer first hiring solution, which is what we're introducing here. Next question, will you share my CV or profile without my permission? Definitely, definitely, no, never. Okay, so now we understand the general concept of how it works, right? You get matched with the job, you review it, you decide if you're interested or not. And if the recruiter on the other side says yes as well, a warm introduction happens on email. So now let's move on to the next phase of actually increasing your likelihood to get matched with a job opportunity. So the first thing you wanna do is to go onto your settings page here and go to job preferences. This is a page where you can basically tell us what you wanna see next in terms of job opportunities. So. At the core, you can just turn it on or off. So if you're not interested at all at getting any job opportunities, that's totally fine, just turn it off. And also I think it's pretty nice if you indicate if you're actively looking or open only if it's right. This gives our system a bit of extra signal on how urgent you are in your job uh, searching process. So this is a really cool section where you can supercharge your match quality in, by basically uploading one or two files. So if you upload your CV, that would be a very good way for us to understand your past work experience and education and all these kinds of things to be able to match you with the right kind of opportunity on the other side. There's another feature which we're currently experimenting with that also lets you upload your employment agreement. And the reason we've done it is we wanted to give you the tool to know that every opportunity that we're going to surface you is definitely better than what you currently have. Now, something very important to say about the employment agreement is that we don't share it with anyone ever. This is just between you and the platform so that we have this extra bit of information to guarantee you that you're getting something a lot better than what you currently have. And if you don't want to upload any of these files, that's totally fine. You can just configure things manually. And here you can just uh, indicate what kind of role you want to see next. Plain text, just explain what role, what do you want to build, and what kind of companies, anything that would give a signal as to what would grab your interest. You can also uh, decide if, if you're more into IC roles, managerial roles, or let us decide. You can also indicate the employment type, what kind of um, job scopes are you open for? Is it only full-time? Are you doing uh, contracting, freelancing, et cetera? Just make sure you indicate here everything that you're currently open for. Also indicate the salary expectations. This is a great way for us to not even show you things that would be irrelevant, right? Because if you're earning X and, and we're offering you a job that gives you less than that, then this is just a waste of everyone's time, right? So indicate your salary expectations here. All right, up next, make sure that you insert your location preferences. Let us know where you want to work from. Are you open for remote? Are you open for a hybrid on-site, etc.? You know, you can just go on and, and pick whatever uh, location you want. And then what is your preferred tech stack? This is where you can just copy from your profile, which means that we're only going to show you jobs that are relevant to things that you read. Or you can just select manually the different uh, technologies um, that you want to use. Let's say AI and security, whatever you can just type in. Um, whatever you want. And this will give us um, a very explicit signal as to what would uh, be relevant for you going forward. All right, so that was the job preferences page. Now let's move on to the next section, which is very important. So as I mentioned, we have completely revamped how developer profiles look on daily dev. And now they also include sections that indicate your past work experiences and a lot more. So what you wanna do next is to go here on the new career section and start configuring your work experience, education. If you have some certifications, if you've done open source work, that's very important for a lot of employers. Make sure to insert that as well. If you've done some projects, side projects, if you published an academic paper, make sure you put it here. If you do some volunteering work, that is also very appreciated by a lot of employers. Make sure you add those um, pieces of information here. So, and it's very simple. You go to work experience. You can see if you've already uploaded your CV, then we might have already parsed some of that information. So make sure you review that and, um, and verify everything that's here. And if not, you can just manually add new experiences. And it's a, it's, it's a basic like general form where you can um, insert everything you want us to know about that particular piece of information. All right, so thank you for listening. I really hope to see more and more developers using career mode to unlock their next dream job through daily.dev. And if there's anything wrong, either about the concept or something that is just unclear from this video, feel free to drop your comment below. And as usual, if you find some bugs or paper cuts, make sure to report it and our team will review it. Thank you again and looking forward to see how you engage with career mode.